Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. In this episode, I'm gonna show you um, a setup that I did um, the other day. It's uh, basically, um, it's an in interesting case. It's um, just um, like an improv where I provided a, a mesh, some kind of mesh, and then for the mesh, each and every edge is, um, is turned into some kind of arc. Um, you might have seen something like this in the um, in a visualization of um, airplane, for example, um, you know, like um, airplane flight path often kind of goes from one point to the next point, and to visualize that, they tend to use this kind of arc to make it look uh, kind of nice. Um, this was actually inspired by um, artwork by John. Um, I forgot his last name, but he's in my Twitter and then he's using Houdini and the recipe is basically similar to this he takes each and every age and then for each and every age in uh, in Houdini he resample it um, so that's uh, it kind of tr making some kind of arc um, we can actually do that in stretch of I realize and this is why what I came up came up with so um, this is how I implement the idea. I started with the uh, icosphere. Icosphere is um, this geometry with a um, lot of triangles, polygon, kind of connecting to each other. And then I'm basically gonna replace the edges with the arc. We know that we have arc node in Spreadshop, and arc node is basically um, if you provide three points, it's gonna create an arc. And the arc is um, controlled by the points in the middle, uh, something like that. But with the arc, sometimes actually we cannot make it like um, that kind of mountain. It's a uh, arc tends to generate some kind of like a circle. So that's uh, the only limitations. But anyway, that's this is like a proof of concept. You can do um, some interesting procedural artwork. And this is how the, res the final result looks like. Okay, I have the icosphere and then I source it in Spreadshop. And then I apply the transformation using matrix apply, so that's uh, simple enough. And I'm using polygon boom. Polygon boom actually separates the elements, and whether you want to have um, polygon elements or edges element, in this case, um, I don't care, I'm just separating all the the edges and then get the vertices and from that vertices I am resampling it using vector interpolations and I'm using um, I turn it I turn every edge uh, with two points it becomes three points, you see this count three um, this three, number three can be anything, if you want if you don't want like an arc, you can use um, you can have more sampling here. Anyway, this is uh, sampling it into three points, and at the bottom later on we're gonna kind of move move the points in the middle. But for now, um, these three points um, here, I'm started to kind of separating the middle points. And then for the middle points, I'm using some kind of noise and pushing the middle points kind of outward in this sphere. Um, yeah, this part is a little bit, just a little bit complicated. Basically, I'm using vector noise, like a um, random vector to kind of push the middle part. To get the middle part, I'm using this uh, list input and this middle part actually control the strings of the push this is only like for the middle points but we know that at some point we're gonna join everything and then using the three point arc node to generate the arc yeah that's a uh, and then uh, that's a little bit complicated but if i actually if i use like a grid for example and i'm gonna make a little bit of changes it's gonna be a little bit clearer so i'm using a grid grid is made up of this um some edges why if I turn on all the wire you see there's a grid um, if I source that grid 
get selection um, we end up with this kind of mesh and I don't want that basically um, let's simplify this guy get rid of the noise and instead of the noise I'm going to use um, vector in here and I'm going to push the middle part up or oh, up actually give us that kind of result I'm gonna push it in a negative value and we have something like this so the arc is kind of pointing up because each and every center points is being pushed up like I said this doesn't um, generate um, the curve that's more parabolic but instead we get something that looks like a circle um, that's okay for now so we have that um, I'm, I'm wondering if we can randomize this push um, I if I'm not wrong we can kind of use a random number generator up here plug this guy in there and then I'm gonna use float value and kind of randomizing this guy um, see this doesn't actually doesn't seem to work but but the funny thing is if I use um, range integer here and starting to mesh with the seed I'm getting some kind of variations yeah, this is weird this is weird but it works uh, yeah this is uh, one of those things where it's kind of like a gotcha how can this work but it seems to work fine randomize the seed and we have this uh, different kind of arc some are taller some are a little bit lower yeah so this is basically the idea just turning edges into arc I don't know how you're gonna use this but it, it's certainly useful um, interesting to look at this kind of structure maybe this thing can kind of simulate um, like the path of the um, grasshopper you know grasshopper kind of doing a jump this is kind of doing that in all kind of directions the path of grasshopper if you are animating a grasshopper maybe it's gonna look something like that so I'm gonna save this real quick. Um, if we use the icosphere, um, you realize that it's, it's gonna be different again. So the way the way these guys being pushed, I'm actually up up there. I'm actually using the the vector noise. That's why it's uh, we get that kind of push yeah it's a uh, it's interesting uh, I don't know this kind of because we're kind of defining how we're gonna push the middle points this why that's why it's either we use the top part or the bottom part I'm gonna save this setup this is a um, slightly more trickier but still pretty simple I'm gonna save it on the desktop this is H to arc save okay um, that's pretty much it for this live noting um, hopefully this one is useful um, if you have any suggestion um, any question just let me know and I guess I'll see you in the next video thanks again for tuning